Hey guys, it's Sam here, and today we're reviewing Shu. Would it be able to tower over the platform competition, or is the storm going to swallow it whole? Shu is a classic style size scrolling platformer developed by CodeSync, available for the PlayStation 4, PC, and hopefully for the Vita. This game will take you through five different worlds, seeing new, beautiful environments, collecting butterflies, little babbies, as well as trying to escape the end of the world. A monstrous storm that doesn't end its pursuit of Shu. Now being a uh, you know platforming veteran myself, you can kind of tell that this game takes influences from other platformers such as the recent Rayman series. So if you like those kind of platforming games, you definitely film at home here. Now let's get into what I do like. And what strikes me the most is the gameplay. First off, you start off with just you by himself, trying to find the other villagers that he lost along the way. And along his journey, he eventually does keep, uh, catch up with them. And they present to you new powers to traverse through these worlds and every single villager has a different power and it always keeps things fresh and live through every single different world and that is what I love the most about this game. You have villagers that can help you change things in the environment, you have a villager that can help you double jump and you even have a villager that can even change the speed of time. And because the gameplay is always, always changing on you, it just keeps things fun. It doesn't feel stale at any point. You know, you're always kept on your toes all throughout the world. And that's what this it was needed. Every time I saw a new video, I just couldn't wait to see what they were just about to show me. It's always fresh and live every time they appeared on screen. Mentioning worlds, I also like the nice visuals in this game. It's a good mix between 2D and 3D. So the characters themselves are just 2D sprites, but the actual environment, the worlds that you're playing on are all 3D. And it's just a good mishmash between the two. And I love the way every world looks. Every world's got its own kind of feel to it. When you go to a new world, you really just don't know what to expect. It's always changing up on the new and it just always looks so beautiful. Always. It's completely nuts. As well as the gameplay and the nice visual, always changing up on you. The music also flows well and it's always on point. Whether you're in a calm green land or you're in a lightning storm, it just know it just knows always when to bring the thunder whether you're being chased or whether you're having a stroll. The flow is always nice. Now what I like in a good platformer is replayability because what makes you want to go through a game again apart from you know the nice visuals, the way it plays, there's got to be something that keeps you hooked and in this game it's the collectibles. As soon as I started it, it just got me hooked on wanting to get everything and before i knew it i was going back through the worlds trying to get all the butterflies trying to get all the babbies trying to set new times or through the time trials i don't usually do this but she did it well it's got a playability to it and that's always a tick in my book you gotta have that in your games and since it's for the ps4 i'm gonna lightly touch on the trophy list it really does again flow well with the rest of the game it doesn't force you to do too much and it really does help you with playing through the game rewarding you as you're collecting all the collectibles and even trying to you know challenge yourself a little bit trying not to die on levels and setting time trials and even trying to beat some of the trials that the guys have set for you from the development team at the end you're rewarded with a nice platinum which isn't on every single indie game, but these guys are giving it to you. So, good shout out there. Now, unfortunately, with some good, there is some bad. I like you. I like it a lot. 
but there just isn't enough of it. I just wish there was more worlds to explore and in those worlds I just wish there was more levels. It just felt a bit shallow. There were some levels I, I wish I could just play one or twice on a different kind of aspect. There just needs to be more. I just, I just wanted to see more. It, like I said, everything about the game, every single level just looked gorgeous, but I just wanted more. There should have been more. Not too much of a gripe, but I feel like the game wasn't too challenging enough. Well, clearly they were going for more of the fun aspect, which is obviously a good thing. Uh, the challenge, not really there. It ramped it up a little bit towards the end of the game, but yeah, I wasn't challenged too much, which isn't too bad you will die in this game I ain't gonna lie I died a couple of times yeah if there was like at least some challenging levels a lot more challenging than they were then that wouldn't be exactly too much of a bad thing but the game needs to present a bit more of a challenge here and there my final thoughts are that you're gonna have a good time with this game the gameplay is good it's crisp it's just, just fun to play. Who doesn't like a fun platform, right? The visuals are there, it's nice, it's gorgeous. Good mismatch between 2D and 3D. The game's gonna throw some surprises at you, left, right and centre. So just be prepared. I'm just letting you know from the get-go. I just wish there was just more of it. A lot more, that's the only thing. On that note, I'm gonna give this game rating of, it's a good game. I enjoyed you. It's a good platformer for me. It's platformers nowadays are few and far between, but she hits the nail on the head. So guys, if you like this video, give us a thumbs up. If you want to see more reviews like this, subscribe to the channel. You can find us on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. And guys, thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you on the next level. So we've got um, two pads here. We've got the new one. Couldn't find an all black standard um, PlayStation pad, but we've got a blue one anyway. And try to make a comparison. Even here, you can still see the difference.